Salim here again. It would appear another skill these English historians have is that of being the proverbial armchair general. I cite Mr. Simon Webb below. I have taken great pains to be accurate in quoting him as he gets into a bit of a tizzy otherwise. It is apparent that there is a clear link with both ethnicity and immigration. Something flips in the mind of most people in a way very similar to a Pavlovian response and they veer away from the truth and the evidence and start instead to think vaguely and uselessly of things such as social deprivation of economic conditions and 30 years of Tory misrule that cuts to services. This is a tragedy for it guarantees that somewhere down the line we will see an even younger child being stabbed or shot. In Sweden, they've lately decided to tackle the problem of such pointless deaths by calling in the army. Let us look at these contentions piece by piece. Firstly, Mr. Webb notes the violence in Sweden is being driven by gangs whose members served in events relating to the breakup of Yugoslavia. Here is another quote from my learned friend Simon. These deaths are all directly attributable to Albanian gangsters who are there as a result of Sweden offering refuge to supposed victims of the conflict in Kosovo. It would seem that Mr. Webb is engaging in the logical fallacy of false equivalence here. He has done this before with Sweden where he tried to present a picture of events in this country as being as violent as the height of the troubles in Northern Ireland. Let us remember we are talking about a crime involving adolescents here and not former military personnel. The death of the young girl is tragic. However, commentators like Webb talk of a Pavlovian shutting down of minds while still trying to milk the situation to push white supremacist outlooks. I submit that Mr. Webb knows very well what he is doing here and has pressed gang events in Sweden for his rhetoric so he can suggest a similar outcome is likely. His rhetoric also cunningly preys on the ideas of the enemy within. A favorite topic of demagogues of both the left and right.